calls. Okay. Right. Uh, so here we go again. There's a door on the button. Is with King Six. He comes in for a raise. Pavel has Queen Seven suited in the big. Can't see him going anywhere. He raises to 35 million. Pavel calls. Nice door card, and both wow. players have flopped a pair. See, as the the back door flusher as well with his king. He keeps the aggression up as he has done every time he's flopped any hand in the heads up play. Pavlo, of course, has backward diamonds. So he will surely call. Now, if he catches a diamond on the turn, he might want to play the hand far more aggressively. Obviously, if a heart comes, Isildur will be in the same spot, currently winning, and it is the ace of diamonds on the turn. Well, I imagine Pavel will check this and Isildur checks back. Pavel... Unless Isildur thinks he can get his opponent to call with a worse hand. He is cutting out a big bet. This is a big pot developing here. Pavel with third pair nut flush draw. Isildur put in a sizable bet there, 105,000, currently winning with his king. Pavel obviously will call here, does have a pair and the back door not flush draw. No reason for him to fold. It wouldn't surprise me if he raised. Well, I think raising just makes all the bluffs fold and every better hand still calls. Oh, he doesn't, I don't think he's thinking Isildur's necessarily, necessarily going to bet this big with just mm. the king. If he knew that, he, he would raise, but... I think he's expecting Isola to check back. Isn't the, wouldn't the ace have been a good card just to rep it, though? And, well, he's got a pair. If he had no pair, then I think he might try and bluff. But Pavel does have a losing hand. I suspect this will go check, check. Pavel trying to work out how he missed that one. He desperately gets a showdown. So he could rep hearts here. He does rep hearts. Wow! He moves all in. What a play. What a play. He moves all in. How can Surely Isodar call? Isodar call here. He's, he's thinking it through in his head. He's thinking he called me on the flop. If he caught the ace on the turn, surely he would have bet. Well, it's, it's hearts or nothing. Raised. Yes, he's checking the chip count. This would be an astonishing call if he makes it. Oh uh, like 300 in the time, yeah. <coughs> Surely he can't call this. Just thinks there's no way Pavel check calls 100 million with a flush draw. In actual fact, he did. He had the nut flush draw in diamonds well, the, and a pair. Well, the problem, the problem is the flush draw that he's most likely to check call with would be the king high flush draw for a pair of kings. And Isidore has that blocked. That is what is playing into Isidore's mind here. If he had the king of spades, he would he would just have to fold this. He does have the, pretty much the only flush draw. He is Pavel seriously called considering it. calling here, James. I, I, I can see why. I can see his reasoning. And he's right. There's, what hand does he call with a flush draw? Could, of course, be the nut flush draw. That's the only way he can be beat here is if Pavel has the nut flush. That's what he's thinking. Oh. Has this guy caught exactly the kind of hand he has? Worst pair that is now trying to rep the flush. At first I thought there's no way I can call, thinking through it the way he is. We can definitely find a call here. His gut feeling is telling him to call. We've all been in this spot. Our gut says call. Our head says you can't call. You can't possibly be winning here for him to make that play. But his gut is saying, cool. The King of Hearts, such a crucial card here. Such a big card. That's what's playing on his mind. Yeah, he's not got any King of Hearts combinations. 
It's just so crucial. There aren't flush draws he can check for the turn with. Don't have a pair. It was 105 million on the turn. If he makes this call, he is going to become even bigger hero <laughs> in <laughs> yeah. the poker fraternity. He's shaking his head. It'll be some call to win the tournament. Looks like he <sighs> is going for the fold. I think I'm going to jump out of my chair if he makes this call. <laughs> It'll be the most unbelievable call I've seen in this situation. Can't call. Looking at the trophy. <laughs> He was glancing at the trophy. That is what he will get if he makes this call. And a million euros, of course. And if he wants to call, this will go down. That's one of the great hands in poker. He's thinking he hasn't got an ace. He would have raised on the turn. Well, it's the ace high flush. Pretty much or nothing. Is it a block? This is unbelievable tension. I'd like to see Pavel, how much he's swerving in a seat at this spot. Pavel simply had enough of this. What's your feeling? I think he's going to call. On, 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 on edge here. I, <laughs> what do you think at home? I mean, like this is phenomenal. So close. Pavel willing him to fold. This is for the title. Doesn't want to call, but his gut's telling him. Only the nut flush <gasps> places. Wow! Oh, what a oh goal! That's phenomenal! Oh my god! That is the greatest goal I've seen live here in Rosmadoff. You saw it. Isolda made the call of the tournament. Oh my word. Isolda with that call is the party poker millions germany champion that is phenomenal james i'll tell you what i'm so glad i was in the commentary room when that happened oh yeah. my god oh wow